Nick is scaring his baby sister by telling her that their babysitter is a mermaid. She even smells fishy. If you spray water on her, well, she'll show her true colors. Oops, the prank went overboard. Where did Miss Monica go? The floor is covered in scales, like a fish molted here. Plus, it's all wet. Maybe Nick was right about her. And he's not going to stop. He made a special documentary for his sister. He's an Oscar winner in his own mind. Caroline believes Nick. Why would her big brother lie to her? He's such a charming host. He knows a lot about mermaids. Now the siblings are ready to catch their nanny red-handed. Caroline believes every word Nick says. Here's a checklist for catching a mermaid. Now, Caroline is ready. The detectives are focusing hard on their case. They found a clue. There's a picture of the nanny with a guy. Does she really have time to date? And does her boyfriend know she's a mermaid? Or is he a fisherman who got bewitched by this evil siren? We all know mermaid singing makes fishermen lose their minds. Caroline thinks the fisherman could have just genuinely fallen in love with the babysitter. She's a great singer and she's pretty cute. This could be true love, like Romeo and Juliet. Caroline got cut up with the fairy tales. We need to track down our babysitter. <gasps> Nick's prank can't be stopped. He just tossed the nanny's earring into the fish tank. But she couldn't fit in there. Caroline didn't fall for it this time. Plus, that's Caroline's earring. Nick is gonna have to plan his pranks more carefully. He didn't even notice that Caroline is a bigger evil genius than he is. Nick wants to try scaring his sister again. Seaweed on the babysitter's glasses? But Caroline isn't buying it. A lettuce sandwich, though, looks good. Lettuce is yummier than seaweed. And this looks like a mermaid hand. What do you think? Caroline is looking at the mermaid checklist. And Nick is helping by creating clues. Look, Caroline, a pitchfork. Oh, she bought it. And she's scared. Now Nick has to finish his pasta with his hands. Karma saved its kiss for Nick. For that one. Caroline was chatting with her friends as usual. But then her brother shows up and there are weird noises coming from the bathroom. What? This is spooky. Let's go check it out. What could it be? A mermaid singing? That's definitely our babysitter. But we can't go in. Well, Caroline doesn't care about privacy. This tiny mermaid looks a lot like Nick's phone. How did it get here? Maybe Nick knows. Nick's next prank is a mermaid scanner. Caroline believed it. Now they're scanning their home to try and find a mermaid. Nick is starting to believe his own lie. Why not scan the fridge? They found something! Caroline's interested. But it's just a fish. That's half a mermaid. So Nick's scanner works at 50% accuracy. Caroline can fix it. There's karma again for Nick. Let's continue our investigation. Mermaids have hypnosis powers. Caroline feels drawn to the kitchen. Whoa! A mountain of unwashed dishes! Caroline can't stop herself from washing them. It's like she lost control of her body. She washed all the dishes, but she can't even take credit for it. Here's the secret. Caroline is using her babysitter's makeup. Mermaids dry their tails with hair dryers. 
So we can use this dryer to find the babysitter. I don't think a mermaid would use this. What can we use it to dry other than scales? Caroline isn't noticing something obvious. The mermaid button is actually a sticker. Nick tricked her again. How is Caroline supposed to trust him now? There. Now dry your forehead, Nick. Caroline is still searching for her babysitter. And Nick has another prank for her. A shell! Caroline is shocked. It's just like the checklist. But she can't hear a thing. The signal in the ocean must be bad. Now she can hear it. This is awesome! She lets Nick listen to it, too. He put this all together. Just a normal headphone makes Caroline believe in mermaid magic. Someone's calling the shell phone? That's weird. Caroline came up with a great plan. If our babysitter is a mermaid, then dry land is the wrong place to look. The siblings print out a photo of the babysitter so they can ask some sea creatures if they've seen Miss Monica. And it looks like this plan is going to work. They caught a diver. But he's not too happy with them. They scared away all the fish. Nick is about to trick his sister again. This time by pretending to be a mermaid. But she's not that easy to fool. And she's actually a mermaid poacher. Nick's prank got him in trouble. Mermaids love gold treasure. Caroline wants to trap their babysitter. Nick is just enjoying a nice meal when he gets caught in Caroline's net. Now Caroline is paying for all Nick's pranks. Let's see how you get out of this one. Caroline found something. And it seems legit. Look, that seems to be Miss Monica. She got up watching Troom Troom trick videos and fell asleep. But let's start at the beginning, since this is a complicated story. Caroline announced that the principal adopted her. She couldn't believe it either, especially because rumor has it that Miss Monica is a mermaid. But ever since I started at Troom Troom High, nothing surprises me anymore. The mermaid shadow was just here, and the students are on the trail. Or should I say, tail? It leads right to the principal's office. This coincidence is certainly fishy. But if you suspect your principal is a real mermaid, you need more evidence. Caroline, Mia, and Jackson decide to break into the office. But the door isn't giving in. Maybe Miss Monica is blocking it because she's asking for likes and subscribers? There's no way. Nobody's blocking the door. It just opens the other way. Jackson was just wasting his energy. Hmm. And when they make it into the office, they see that there's nothing weird going on. Miss Monica is just busy working. But there's still something strange here. Mermaid-themed stuff everywhere. Maybe Miss Monica really is a magical sea creature. So the students leave her office with their questions unanswered. But did they give up too fast? Maybe it was all a trick. It's hard to say for sure. But since they still have questions, our team of paranormal investigators decides to research mermaids some more. They're so into it that they're seeing mermaids everywhere. Every shape looks like a mermaid now. And they want to learn the truth even more. Things just keep getting weirder. When Caroline got home, she was determined to catch the mermaid once and for all. It sounds like Monica is in the shower right now. But Caroline barely remembers anything about that evening. Not even getting in the shower. She just remembers hearing Monica singing. And the song was so beautiful, it almost hypnotized her. She also remembers the door slamming shut. Caroline didn't see if her mom was a mermaid, but it was definitely suspicious. The next day, Caroline has a new idea for how to catch the mermaid. She had a dream that inspired her. So she told Jackson to pretend to be a merman. He didn't want to, but he also didn't have a choice. The girls were really insistent. 
The results were pretty crazy. Here's Jackson as a lonely merman, waiting to find the right fish in the sea. It was foolproof. But then, the janitor got involved. He was furious! Instead of a date with a mermaid, Jackson's going on a date with mops and brooms. Mia says they're overthinking it. In her opinion, hunting a mermaid is easy. She thinks she can totally catch Monica on her own. But it's not working. Mia takes the first chance she can to pour water over Miss Monica. But that didn't expose her as a mermaid. It just made her angry. Now, Mia's in trouble. At first, she didn't even realize what happened. But she's definitely in a sticky situation. Maybe Miss Monica didn't transform because she was wearing waterproof makeup? Or maybe she's not actually a mermaid at all. This whole thing is so confusing. Whatever the truth is, Miss Monica is definitely being shady. The weirdest thing Mia and Caroline did was try to go fishing. They climbed into the vents with a fishing rod. What were they thinking? That Miss Monica would get hooked? That would have been too easy. Yeah, something got hooked, but not exactly the fish they were expecting. Is this even a fish? Seems more like a whale shark to me. He's very confused about why he's in the vents. Well, it looks like they need cleaning too. This whole mermaid investigation is affecting Monica and Caroline's relationship. Caroline doesn't trust her mom, which obviously is breaking Miss Monica's heart. She wanted a daughter her whole life, and she loves her so much. But expectations aren't lining up with reality. And the grass is always greener on the other side. This Monica is just gonna have to get used to it. Jackson read all about mermaids at the library and got a great idea. He put a phone inside a shell to check if Miss Monica will answer it. He just learned that mermaids use shells instead of phones. If Miss Monica picks it up, that'll expose her as a mermaid. Jackson loves his own plan. He can't wait to beat Mia and Caroline. But it didn't work out. Someone picked up the call, but not the principal. And not even a mermaid. She does have a tail, though. This little fish talked to Jackson in a language he doesn't speak. Then she hung up. Is the janitor related to Miss Monica's secret? He keeps getting in the way. Jackson has to admit his plan failed miserably. At some point, Jackson and Mia started to suspect that Miss Monica isn't the only mermaid here. What if Caroline is too? Would a mermaid adopt a normal girl? Maybe Caroline doesn't know her own nature. We have to check. Jackson and Mia prepared a trap. They poured water on a chair and waited. And here she is. Caroline reacts immediately, turning into a… Rage monster! She's yelling at Nick! The poor guy is so unlucky. Unlike Mia and Jackson. Another crazy idea was trying to attract Miss Monica with fish food. Mia was convinced a mermaid wouldn't be able to resist. It smells gross to humans. But it's a delicacy in the mermaid world. Mia makes a trail of fish food and starts waiting for the mermaid to show up. But the principal hasn't showed up yet. Let's go check on the bait. Uh-oh, the janitor cleaned it all up. This plan is definitely nowhere near perfect. We keep forgetting about the janitor. Our detectives are sad they missed the chance. Maybe it was Miss Monica dressed up as the janitor? Ugh, Miss Monica is so mysterious. She doesn't want anyone to know about. 
but everyone is curious about it and wants to know the truth. Caroline is closer than ever before. But she's also close to failing. She just got to a mysterious box with another mysterious box inside. What if it has the truth about if Miss Monica is a mermaid or not in it? Caroline is so anxious, but so curious. She was so disappointed when she found a strange video of her mom having trouble finding water. Caroline has no idea what she's even looking at. Maybe Monica is a performance artist? Caroline is so disappointed. But she should have finished the video! The friends have had no luck figuring out if their principal is a mermaid or not yet. So it's time to break out the big guns. The fire alarm will catch her off guard for sure! No one can hide from this much water! After pulling the fire alarm, our trio goes to check on the principal. She must be splashing around on the floor by now. But they just found a note that says she went out to lunch. Oh no, their plan failed again! All they do is lose. If they were getting graded for this, Caroline would have an F for sure. It's like Monica is torturing her. A mermaid principal sounds like a crazy concept, but Caroline is all in. She forgot about her studies, and her grades are suffering too. Do you think mermaids are real? Well, tell us in the comments. We'll see you next time on Shroom Shroom Trick.